Welcome to Science Fact Tune. Here you will learn cool science facts. Thank you for your support. Now let's get into the video. Invasive species. What are invasive species? An invasive species is an introduced organism that becomes overpopulated and damage its new environment. Invasive species cause serious damage to the introduced ecosystem. It can cause Extinction of native species Reduce biodiversity Compete with native organisms for resources Alter the habitats Huge economic impact to the local government Disrupt the overall ecosystem Now let's take a look at some of the invasive species Killer kudzu Kudzu is native to Japan and China and it was introduced to the United States in 1876. It was promoted as an ornamental plant. This species is recognized as highly invasive. Kudzu's growth in native is controlled by cold winter but in U.S.'s warm climate their growth becomes uncontrollable. Kudzu can grow up to a foot a day allowing it to easily outcompete and kill other plants including trees and shrubs. Kudzu can even grow over power lines and poles causing damage that results in the loss of power to communities. Burmese Python Burmese Python A large constrictor snake, which can grow more than 23 feet long, is native to Southeast Asia. However, it can now be found in the Florida Everglades. Burmese pythons were being kept as pets in United States. It is believed that their owners released them into the wild when they could no longer take care of them or that they escaped during Hurricane Andrew in 1992. Startling Bird Starlings will try to dominate any area they occupy and compete with native birds for food and nesting opportunities. Their aggression and territorial takeover habits have displaced and killed off many native songbirds. Starlings were purposely introduced to Central Park, New York City in 1890. The original 60 pairs released rapidly multiplied. The population exploded and the species spread rapidly throughout the entire U.S. and Canada. European Rabbits European rabbits were introduced into Australia for hunting purpose. These rabbits ate so much vegetation that they ended up starving for food in addition to making other animals starve. Lionfish Lionfish are native to the Indo-Pacific, but are now established along the southeast coast of the U.S., the Caribbean, and in parts of the Gulf of Mexico. There is a speculation that people have been dumping unwanted lionfish from home aquariums into the Atlantic Ocean for many decades. Lionfish are carnivores and feed on small crustaceans and fish, including the young of important commercial fish species such as snapper and grouper. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration have concluded that invasive lionfish populations will continue to grow and cannot be eliminated using conventional methods. Marine invaders are nearly impossible to eradicate once established. Various factors in their native environment will keep an animal number limited. 1. Lack of predators, Burmese python, lionfish, and European rabbits were controlled in numbers in their native by predators. 2. Lack of parasites and diseases, Burmese python used to get infected in their native environment. 3. Good climate for reproduction, European rabbits had all year summer in Australia which led to uncontrolled reproduction. 4. No freezing weather, kudzu will die in Japan during winter. It's silly that we humans label other animals as invasive. Do humans are the species that originated from Africa and spread across the globe and invading other animals' habitats? This is a question to think about. Thank you and have a good one.